Bulls Nation, it is time to celebrate as we take the next step into the rebuilding process of this entire franchise. New GM incoming, and we're going to talk about it. Let's go. What's up, everybody? It's the Sports Co, aka Aiden, and welcome back to another video. Breaking news happening only an hour ago. A new general manager has finally been put into place for the Chicago Bulls. It's been a long, rigorous, very aggressive ride by the Bulls and by every all the fans just waiting and anticipating for a moment like this. And we finally got the next step. We finally got the GM, and we finally have an idea of what's going to happen throughout the entire franchise. So without further ado, please like and subscribe if you're new to the channel if you're new to the sports code we do gaming we do discussions and obviously we do news videos so this is um a very important part of the channel turn notifications on if you want to see more videos from me upload twice a day and maybe even today you could get a triple so we'll see a triple for a great day for chicago anyway let's go right into the news so the general manager of the chicago bulls can we get a can we get a drum roll? I don't know how to do that. But anyway, it's Mark Eversley from, um, I hope I said that right. He was formerly from the 76ers. He's uh, joined the Chicago Bulls. This guy's been around for a while, man. Like he's had his break in 2006. He's been in the NBA for a while. Teams like the Sixers, the Raptors, and the Wizards. He's been part of success, and he, he knows what it takes to be successful. A lot of um, Bulls fans were very happy um when we were linked to him as well as others of course uh and we ended up getting we ended up getting this guy now what does this uh, mean for the chicago bulls in general um i just think it means that we finally have a, a, a further indication of the direction that we're going in we further have more knowledge about the overhaul that this um this Bulls team is finally going to give us and that's the best thing that I could ask for as a Bulls fan because there's nothing much going on right now there's really no sports there's the only thing that's keeping a lot of basketball fans entertained is the last dance documentary which by the way reviews will be coming out soon for those um, latest two episodes so stay tuned for that and um, we've been waiting we've been waiting to see what the Bulls are going to do next and we finally got the next piece in the puzzle the next piece to help us win the next piece that would um, help determine if we can actually go all the way or not and I think this is a decent general manager signing man uh, Artura said that he would want someone that is completely opposite to him um, someone that he can work with instead of just agreeing he doesn't want a person that's similar to him so I guess that's what he was looking for this whole time and um, he eventually got his man that he wanted. He wanted something that could be different to him so they can all they can work together, create different ideas, different things and that's good man and I hope that uh, we can continue this. There's obviously more things that need to be done. For instance, um, we still don't know the future of Jim Boylan. Jim Boylan is the coach of the Chicago Bulls, if anyone doesn't know. I just saw on the net before I came on and talked about this that he had a record of 38 and 84, I believe, which is probably one of the worst records in NBA history um, for the amount of time he's been here. And he's often been perceived by many, many NBA fans outside of Chicago as the worst coach in the NBA. Now, obviously, that's not nice news to hear, especially if you're Jim Boylan. And even as Bulls fans, to be honest, it's not nice to hear because that's our coach at the end of the day. So um, we don't know the future of Jim Boylan, but... Uh, that seems to be the next thing that we're going to be going for. So hopefully we can make the right decision. I'm not going to tell you what the right decision is because at the end of the day, if we keep Jim Boylan, I'm, I'm going to have to support it because we have such a new front office, such a new franchise basically that it's, um, it's, it's important that I have to give them my complete trust during this entire process. If that means Jim Boylan stays until the end of the season or even beyond that, then I'm going to trust it and I'm going to hope that it eventually works out. Um, with the new general manager in place, we're going to have more efficiency with decision making. We have basically the vice president of basketball operations and the general manager working side by side. Similar to John Paxson and Gar Foreman, I guess you could say, but um, hopefully these two with have more, a little bit more experience in the roles. 
um, and hopefully they can bring new, unique and good ideas towards this franchise that can help us start competing. They've been in a situation where they've made winning teams from scratch and both of them have been very successful in the NBA for the past past few few years, man. So it's important that we get more people like this in. For me personally, I would have much loved an experienced general manager, um, which Mark Eversley, I guess he, you could say he's inexperienced, but in a general manager position, I don't know. And um, but at the end of the day, we've got something now. We've got something to build on. We know what's who's in charge. We know the decisions are made. We know who they're by. We know if we believe or we don't believe that the right decisions. We know a lot now. A lot of information has been presented to us in the best way possible by the Chicago Bulls during this period. And now, Bulls fans, we're going to get excited again, man, because we still have more decisions to be made. Um, the head coach, we, we, we want to know the decision of the head coach, and that's going to be the next step, I think, for the Chicago Bulls. I said it when Naturia signed we, and Garth Foreman got fired. The next step was to find a general manager. We finally, after a few weeks, we finally found the general manager of the Chicago Bulls. We finally found someone that could suit that role and hopefully perfect that role and we've become a complete and dominant figure in the front office. But there's still more to be made. There's still on the court stuff that needs to be made. There's even staff members that we don't really consider or even think about that probably needs to be changed. For instance, our doctors. I mean, our doctors are considered one of the worst in the, in the NBA, really. Um, we have so many injuries throughout the year and they always come back too late or too early, then they get re-injured. So um, we might need better medical staff. Trainers, we might need better trainers. We might need um, a new coach. There's a lot of things that still needs to be figured out here. So I hope we can get all that sorted. So the next step for me, we need to figure out the head coach. Is it gonna be Jim Boylan? I just wanted to finish the answer. If it's going to be Jim Boylan, I want people to just come out and say, it's going to be Jim Boylan. Or if it's going to be, um, if it's going to be anybody else that they've been linked to, if it's just gonna be, a, a, if they're just gonna fire him, like I'd, I'd really like to know. Now Jim Boylan has the um, the trust of the fat, of the owners really. So something tells me it's gonna be a very long time before we have a decision on that. The season might even continue before we can even make a decision on that. So. Uh, that's that's where I'm heading right now. So I don't think there's going to be much Bulls news in terms of new hirings, firings, trades, trade rumors for a while because um, until the NBA season starts again, it looks like we're going to be in the dark for a lot of this. So hopefully things are going on off the scenes uh, that we don't know, but hopefully are positive. Hopefully, um, a tourist is having talks with everybody, trying to get them on the same page, because I think at the end of the day, if we're all on the same page, we're only going to be a better team than divided. We, we unite together um, instead of divide and fail. So that's just what I think, and that's going to be the end of the video. Again, there's not much news uh, based on the Chicago Bulls, but this was a great piece of news finally something to talk about so i want to thank you all for watching short video please like subscribe if you're new to the channel and turn notifications on and you'll see probably another upload from me later today or you might see it tomorrow but either way there's two videos coming every day and that's what's important so take care have a wonderful day and peace